Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh yes, we could do it now. Welcome back to another predestined, predestined kingdom ministry or ministries international videos. I'm Kenethia J or Kenethia Johnson. Welcome back. Apostles Creed. After prayer. That would be fun. I thank you for your Holy Spirit and time. Again. Not gonna cry, but thank you. <laughs> I received, I received. <laughs> do it, Papa. Do it, do it, do it. <sighs> Praise the Lord. And thank you for the many blessings that is coming our way individually and together for this predestined kingdom ministries in Jesus Christ's name and our families. Thank you for remembering us. Ah! In the name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, I pray. Amen. <laughs> God got something so good for us. Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father, our mighty creator of heaven and earth. I, uh, blah, blah. Sorry. <laughs> I believe in God, the Father, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in the Lord God, Almighty Jesus Christ, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father, Almighty. And from there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins. Welcome as you come. Hey, hey, cuz. You know, we've been. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting in the almighty name of the Lord God, Jesus Christ. Amen. Finn has been talking about you so much. We already miss y'all. It seemed like that trip was just too long ago for y'all. But she been talking about y'all every day since. I've been saying I was going to call. I ain't never called yet. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Back to the word. Sorry. <laughs> Back to the word. Meeting the needs of others. Exodus. That is so funny. Meeting the needs. God is going to remember you. I'm speaking to the person that just joined and left. God is about to remember you. This is so good. Meeting the needs of others. I went on a trip and something happened and my cousin was there for me and my daughter at the time. And so it's just beautiful because the same cousin popped on in and now look at the word. Meeting the needs of others. The next word is a blessing for doing that. And so... If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, return it by sunset. The Bible has long taught us to respond to the needs of others in the book of Exodus. Moses records a set of principles to guide our interaction with those who lack plentiful resources. Oh, you can be. You can be very considerate. <laughs> when... I'm sorry. When we're moved to supply the needs of other of I'm sorry. When we're moved to supply the needs of another, we're to not treat it like a business deal and should make no gain or profit from it. This is what Exodus 22 verse 25 is saying. If a person's cloak was taken as collateral, it was to be returned by sunset because that cloak is the only covering your neighbor has and so if you try to be too hard or demeaning or selfish your neighbor wouldn't have anything to sleep in and so this says let's ask god to open our eyes and hearts to see how we can ease the pain of those who are suffering whether we seek to meet the needs of many as Cindy and Philip have or those of a single person. They're just um, Arthur's in the recent story that I didn't read. We honor him by treating them with dignity and care. Also by respecting people. 
you could you could still be in charge with respect to others. You don't have to be so belittling to people or like it's all about you and you and somebody else's life or household. And so God is God dog it, Lord. And so the Lord is saying, treat people with dignity and care. The question says, How has God supplied your needs through others? Whose needs might you be able to supply? So I already answered that question in the beginning because the Lord had that person come on the video as I was speaking. The next part two says the crown of life. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and <laughs> I want to cry. Add temptation. God bless you. Too, yeah. Yes, Lord. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. That was so funny because last night I was cheering somebody on <laughs> and they jumped off. So I was like, you got to be patient. I know that's, I, that's something I'm fussing about, but we got to be patient. God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. I saw it while I was praying. The blessings are here. That's what this is, the second part is. For those who have endured. Oh, Shaba, we have endured, Lord. We've endured a lot of persecution. Whew, a lot, a lot, a lot of testing. We've definitely endured uh, infinity. <laughs> we still get tested. God never stops testing us. But I've endured a lot of testing. Report abuse. A lot of abuse, bullying, but that's called patiently enduring until God comes to save you. James 1 verse 4 and 12. If they patiently endure testing, God promised a double, I want to cry, <laughs> a double reward. First perseverance, wait, first perseverance would finish its work so they could be mature and complete, not lacking anything. And so, yes, this is true. This is when you start hearing the messages, you're ready. It's ready. God says it's finished. Oh, Ooh, then you start seeing 444, 333, 111. Then the universe starts aligning its will for the word that God has spoken from heaven. And then you reap a promised double reward. <laughs> God is about to blow our minds. <laughs> oh, Jesus. This was a much needed word. I had a rough day yesterday. Another spiritual attack. This was a well, much needed word. The manifestation. This is a word we've been hearing on this ministry channel. I know some of you are like, tell me something new. You've been saying this for years. You still ain't get married, blah, blah, blah. God says this is for the manifestation of it. You have people that attack these words. And so when you see prophets release a word, when you see God release a word through, it may not even be a prophet. It may just be a chosen person to serve God. Okay. Everybody has a, everybody not called to be no prophet, but everybody is called to serve and speak for the Lord in a, the word. And when you speak the word, if it's something, um, that needs to be said from the Lord. He comes through and he speaks what he needs to say as well. But that doesn't, somebody, God has to call you as a prophet. Nonetheless, God would give them the crown of life, life in Jesus on earth and the promise of being in his presence in the life to come. Some call it the afterlife. Some call it death, whatever have you not. That's what all of this work for is. So when your soul or your generations or your family that's here 
If they listen like you listening, everybody could go be saved in heaven. That's what God does for each family. He chooses that one person to break the generational curses, to do this and to do that. And ultimately is to set us up to be with him forever. Our souls live on. We don't, I don't like, some people say reincarnation. It just depends on what, what you did down here. <laughs> I feel like it's just, we don't know. And we're not supposed to know like that. We know certain things that's going to help us out while we're here to set us up better when we leave. But you don't know if you're going to the waiting room in heaven or if God going to send you back down here <clears throat> to do work. That's why I keep seeing, that's why I keep hearing and praying for I come back down here. The hell? I'm sorry. I, I will take me to the new earth, the new heavens. Come on, Lord. Don't please don't send me back now. <laughs> I want to come back. Oh, Lord. Okay, nonetheless. <laughs> you know I want to come back down here. I want to stay up there. I will mop the floor somewhere in heaven. Like, I don't care. <laughs> you do what until it's time for all of us to be together or just whatever he going to do with us at the end. But I'm not. Yeah, with the new heaven and the new earth. I'm sorry. <laughs> you are being blessed for patiently enduring testing and temptation, abuse, by family members, church bullies, um, spiritual leaders, bishops, pastors, prophets, even if they were your spiritual parent. Because you endure exes who are prophets or pastors, because you endured all of that, plus what God wanted to ish, amen. Plus what God tested you with. Plus what the universe tested you with. Because you believed. <laughs> Keep speaking, Holy Spirit. <sighs> Thank you, Jesus. But because you believed when everybody said no. And you just kept going. Even when it looked like it wasn't going to happen. The manifestation of your blessings are here. Ah, thank you, Jesus. The crown of life. God is giving you your crown. Queen, king, your crown is, you are now being crowned with the crown of life. <laughs> Shalom.